this is Grace from Six Flow Property Management. How can I help you? Hey, Grace, I'd like to book a property viewing. Great. What's your full name? Adam Jordan. Thanks, Adam. What date and time works for you? Let's do August 13th at 2 p.m. All set. Booking you for August 13th at 2 p.m. at 123 Six Flow Road. You're booked. Have a great day. Thanks. Yo, 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 what is going on, guys? This is Adam from Six Flow Automations here. And in this video, we're going to be going over step by step how to build an AI receptionist that could answer calls and book property viewings directly into a calendar for real estate agents and real estate businesses. And funny enough, I actually used to work as a receptionist in real estate, and I was the guy taking these calls and booking these appointments. So I can tell you from personal experience that an automation like this would be super valuable to real estate agents because then they don't have to hire a receptionist like me to do this task. So whether you're looking to build this automation for yourself or you're looking to build this automation and sell it to real estate businesses or real estate agents, then this video is for you. If that sounds good and you're ready to hop right into the tutorial, be sure to like the video, subscribe, and let's get on into it. All right, so let's go ahead and build this thing. So the first step that we're going to want to do is create an account with Cal.com. And the reason we set an account up with Cal.com is that it has a native integration with Retail AI and it makes this whole build and this whole process a lot easier. So let's go ahead and make that account. I already have an account, so I'm just going to sign in. But for you guys, you're going to want to go ahead and create an account. Ideally, you can sign it in with your Google accounts. And then that way, when you add your Google Calendar, it is already associated with the Google accounts you used to sign into Cal.com. All right, so we are in cal.com and what we're going to want to do is create an event. So we want to be on the events type tab. As you can see here on the left side, we're going to want to go to an event. We're going to name it whatever you want. I'm going to name it property viewing since real estate agents book property viewings. And, you know, I set the duration to 45 minutes. That's about how long it takes to do a property viewing availability. You can set um, this part isn't so important. For limits, I actually like to do a buffer time of 15 minutes for the reason being that usually when people are doing property tours or property viewings, they have to go from building to building. So it wouldn't really make sense to have appointments, those type of appointments back to back because they need to drive from appointment to appointment. Um, but for the, the case of this example, for the case of this demo, we're just going to do no buffer time. OK, and then when we are in the advanced settings, you're going to want to make sure that it is. Um, the calendar is associated with your Google account. And once that is all set up, you're going to want to click save. If you don't click save, it won't save. So once you click save, you're going to that's going to be uh, good for the events. And we're going to be able to go to retail AI at this point. OK, and when we're in retail AI, we're going to want to go ahead and click create a new agent over here. I'm going to click voice agent. And I'm going to choose a single prompt agent and click create. Although you could have done a different type of agent for the simplicity of this example, we're going to use a single prompt agent. Um, and it's my preference as well to do a single prompt agent. All right. So the next thing we are going to do is just input this prompt here. I'll be honest with you guys. It is not the best prompt, um, but it gets the job done. If you're going to actually implement this for clients, I suggest uh, touching up the prompt, making it a bit better, making it a bit more uh, logically sound. But it's, it's great for this example. And I'll and I'll give it to you guys in the description for you to copy and paste in as well if you're following along. All right. So the next step that we're going to do over here in retail AI is go over to the functions, uh, the functions uh, function over here. And we're going to want to go press add. We're going to click end call here and click save simple enough right okay the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to add the check calendar availability function over here we're going to want to click that and then as you can see over here we're going to have to enter the api key from cal.com and then the event type id from cal.com so to do that also this time zone is wrong so i'm going to go ahead and fix that but anyways to get the api key from cal.com we're going to want to go back into cal.com right here and then we're going to want to go to settings at the bottom here, as you can see. So we're going to want to click settings. And then we're going to go over to API key, API keys. And then we can go ahead and add an API key. You can name it whatever you want to. 
click save copy that to your keyboard let's go back into retail ai and copy er, and paste that api key in and then as you can see we need to input an event an event type id so to get the event type id what we're going to want to do is go back into cal.com we're going to want to go to that event that we had just created and we're going to want to click the six sorry the seven digit number up here in the url we're going to want to copy that and we're going to paste that into the event type id over here in retail ai okay then we can go ahead and click save and then we're going to do the exact same thing for this third function where it says book on the calendar with cal.com so we're going to have to enter the same api key in and the same event id and so let's go ahead and do that okay all right so after you save that the next thing that we have to do is assign a phone number to this agent right so what we're going to do is we're going to want to click publish over here at the top right and then what we're going to want to do is assign an inbound phone number so you can want to click uh, inbound phone number and then go ahead and add the phone number that you had bought from retail ai and if you haven't bought a phone number yet not to worry we have a video on this channel made by noah walking you through step by step how to purchase a phone number with twilio or with sip trunking and be able to assign the phone number to one of your voice agents so go ahead and click the card at the top of this screen if you want to go check that out otherwise if you do have the phone number go ahead and, and assign it to this voice agent using this method here Perfect. So now we had just published this voice agent that is now integrated with cal.com via these functions. And let's go ahead and test this out real quick. Hi, this is Grace from Six Flow Property Management. How can I help you? Hey, Grace, I'd like to book a property viewing. Great. What's your full name? Adam Jordan. Thanks, Adam. What date and time works for you? Let's do August 13th at 2 p.m. All set. Booking you for August 13th at 2 p.m. at 123 Six Flow Road. You're booked. Have a great day. Thanks. I hope you guys got any value out of this video. If you did, I'd really appreciate it if you like, comment, and subscribe. And I'm not going to waste any more of your time, guys. Have a good day and take care.